so I give glory to God and I want to add this disclaimer before I play this recording because I've already recorded this video but I have to add this commentary and I give God the glory for this because there was a little girl who had a very profound rapture dream and she literally talked about and this girl was probably like five six years old and she talked about how everybody was removed in a way but the people that were righteous were raptured into the new world whereas the people that were unrighteous were raptured into the old world i don't know if, if i want to say the word raptured but they were moved and she literally talked about that and when she said that a light bulb went off because in these dimension dreams and my shift change dreams as well you'll hear me because i've already done the recording and i'm talking about different things i've seen and it might be confusing to some people but the truth of the matter is there is two different things going on at the same time i knew this many years ago before i knew anything about a shift change just from reading the bible i was like wow how are people in zion with the lord and at the same time it's all this craziness going on in, in the earth like i knew that from just studying old testament end time scripture when christ comes and reigns on the earth i was like they talking about you know living in harmony with animals and everything like that but how is it you keep reading a few verses down and it's talking about these people in war and desolation and famine and disease and i'm like what on earth what is happening here and it hit me many years ago and i actually used to do bible studies and i remember telling my team that was in my bible studies and i said there's two different types of worlds going on at the same time we have mount zion we have heaven on the earth but at the same time, there is destruction and going on for the wicked. There are zombies. There are dinosaur looking creatures. I mean, the Bible in the Old Testament talks about these creatures that, well, it doesn't say the word creatures, but it says how people will be like devoured in the air and then they will fall and their carcasses will be laying on the ground and the lord will still be angry with them and then we know in revelation it talks about these dinosaur looking creatures with these different heads on their tail and my youngest daughter has seen these creatures with these heads on their tail i have seen dinosaurs other people have seen dinosaurs so i was like what is going on and when that girl said that you guys I know I've been doing these videos for a long time, but the way I understood it is I thought that we would all be here on the earth in a way, but I thought we would be going through different portals into heaven and into the beauty that I've seen. And I have seen that as well. I have seen, so I haven't said anything incorrectly. I have seen portals and I have seen, you know, myself and my family going to different portals of heaven, going to different portals of heaven and different dimensions. And just really, you know, when this thing comes, it's a wrap. And I want the righteous to understand. I'm talking to those people who are all in with Christ, celebrating Sabbath, celebrating feasts, all in, not polluting the Sabbath or the holy days of the Lord. And they keep the Lord's statues, which that's his statues as well. They keep his judgments. Hallelujah. They keep his law. They keep his word. Of course, we aren't saved by the law, but we know that our righteousness is important because it shows our heart. It shows our love and our devotion to Christ. Amen. And we're rewarded because of our righteousness. It can't save us, but we're rewarded because of it. Amen. And we do it out of love. We're not doing it to keep rituals. I'm talking to those people right now. I'm talking to the righteous. When this thing comes, when this shift change comes, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. We will forever be with the Lord. I want people to really understand that it is not going to be doom and gloom. Not anymore. When we are with the Lord, when this takes place, we are forever with the Lord. And I heard this little girl talk about that. And she literally said that the righteous was raptured into the new earth, whereas the wicked were the way that she made it sound is that the wicked were moved to the old earth. And that makes perfect sense 
because that is what I explained biblically when I did my shift change videos explaining it in scripture. And I talked about this scene that's going to play out where everybody is removed from the earth and they're going to be switched around. And I've seen that prophetically and shifted. And that is exactly what this little girl said. So I was really amazed by that. And I definitely believe that the Lord led me to watch her video. I was not sub to her at all. And I think that was definitely for my ears to help me to understand more of what God is showing us. So I want to say this too, for memory, in case, you know, I do have some new people on my channel that didn't hear me say this in the past, but I have been shown that I was shown this when I was a little girl, probably like three years old. And I was shown it after that, but I didn't release it because I was like, wow, that's really high level. I kept trying to get my youngest daughter to release it because she was shown way more than me about the animals and how there are animals on this earth that are not on this earth. There are animals that they do not see the world the way that we see the world. Like, for instance, if a dog is like rolling around, this is just an example that I use. I haven't been actually been shown this, but I've been shown similar things. If a dog is like rolling around in the dirt, for instance, but to the dog, he's rolling around in flowers. That's what it looks like to him. And say, for instance, a dog is really smelly, but to the dog, he smells fragrant. He smells wonderful. And the way that these animals, and I'm not saying all animals are the same because we have literally been shown that myself as well. I have had multiple dreams of this uh, that I have not released. The animals are not all the same. Some animals are righteous and some animals are wicked. I've literally been shown that. My youngest daughter has been shown that as well. And they also have different abilities just the same way as humans. Like humans can be prophetic. Some humans can see into the spiritual realm. And there are animals that have the same gift. They can see things spiritually. They can pick up things spiritually very easily. There are animals that can speak multiple languages. And I don't want to get into all of that right now. I have to make a separate video if I go into that. But the point I'm making is... They don't all see the world the way that we do. And when I say the way that they see the world, you guys, some of them see exotic animals that we don't have. I was literally shown that. I was shown these big, giant, exotic butterflies and the grass and the world itself looks beautiful to them. It doesn't look the same that it looks to us. And I'm really trying to explain this thing because... As you get into this video that I'm about to play, I need you to understand that what is coming, what is happening. The righteous are literally crossing over. Now, it's easy for me to understand it because of the things that the Lord has shown me. Like Jesus, I was seriously taking communion and Jesus came to me right in front of my face and he took his two hands like you trying to pry open a window I don't know like pry open curtains or something and he just pried open the air right in front of me and showed me this beautiful world like in a dimension right in our world I'm really trying to get you all to understand that that is how it's going to be there will be people on this earth this earth will wax worse and worse dealing with in zombies and as a matter of fact I'm going to deal with them myself because I am going to be working for God here on the earth I've been shown that many times to help the people on the earth so I'll be going in and out of different dimensions and all kind of stuff like that that's what God has showed me and my team as well and many other people as well that will be working for the Lord but there will be people who will be stuck in this earth. That little girl, I love this little girl. She really brought it home, what she said. They will be stuck in this earth. They will not see the new earth. They will not see the beauty and this other layer. It's a literal layer dimension right within this world. It's really hard for me to explain this. There's actually a religion like that. They believe that everybody that goes to heaven is on the earth but in another dimension but on the earth now i'm not saying i agree with them don't get me wrong i actually do not agree with them but what is interesting is the fact that 
they say these things and this is what I have seen coming with this new earth it's not what people think there will be a new earth you guys I'm really struggling I'm really trying to explain the things that I've seen biblically and prophetically there will be a new earth but it's not what people think most people think that God is going to destroy this earth completely and then make a new earth that is the same way I used to think that's not the case there will be a new earth while this earth is being destroyed. Seriously, it's so hard to explain. It's like a dimension within a dimension. And things are crossing over. And things are even crossing over out of hell. That's where the locusts come from. I saw the locusts as well. I put that video in the description box. My videos I've done on the locusts. The locusts are literally coming from a dimension out of hell. So there will be like these different dimensions open up into this earth and one of them is the new earth one of them is the earth the way it is now which is really going to wax worse will be destroyed babylon will be destroyed within one hour and then there will be a shift change and god will seriously shift the wicked into the positions that he wants them in for the tribulation i'm not going to go in that into detail right now because i've already discussed that in other videos and then the righteous will be shifted into this new earth and the way that things will be for them is not going to be the same way it will for the wicked that will wax worse and worse and yes you know the righteous we will do so many amazing things like fight villains like literally i had a dream while i was fighting this guy and the Lord showed me he looked exactly like Dr. Strange, almost exactly like not the same as Zach face, but almost exactly like him. And he literally was throwing and I didn't know anything about Dr. Strange. You guys, I did not watch whatever shows that guy came on TV movies. I was out of that by the end because I was awake and I knew that stuff was witchcraft. So I didn't mess around with that. And this guy was throwing some kind of energy balls at me. And I remember telling somebody, I don't know if it was my daughter or somebody else because I can't remember now. And they told me, they said, he really does that in the show. And I said, you got to be kidding me. It will be things like that. Like God will help the 144,000 fighting these villains and things like that it's like a whole world different from what other people will experience and i want you all to please just try to ponder on what i'm saying because i feel like i'm really struggling to explain what i'm saying and then you will have another group of people that are unrighteous who are being chased by zombies looking at the earth the way that it is now except way worse and they will be shifted and after the shift they won't even remember that they were whatever life they had before because god will position them where he wants them for his wrath that is going to happen that is what i've seen many times my daughter has seen it other people have seen it it is going to happen and then there is a group that i've seen as well who will shift and i need to say this as well and they will not be 144,000. God is literally showed. I was literally told in a dream. I was literally showed this woman and I was told point blank. She is not 144,000, but she was a Christian, but she was 144,000 and she shifted positively and she was living a life that was good in a way. Like she was ministering. She was leading this peaceful, nice life, but it just wasn't to the point where I was living, where I was literally being used by God and going in and out of dimensions, like having to go into the zombie world and all this kind of stuff and do all these kind of things. So, you know, God shows us things in part. There is a glass darkly. I don't know everything you guys. And sometimes you guys ask me questions and I'm like, I don't know that yet. God hasn't revealed that to me. And I will state that I will state that in my videos because the last thing I want to do is lead anybody astray and say a bunch of stuff that ain't what God showed me. But I do talk about what God has shown me and I do talk about scripture and I'm telling you guys there is simultaneous dimensions going on at the same time. There's worlds mixing. There's things coming out of other dimensions into our world. There's things leaving out of our world into other dimensions. All of this stuff is coming. So I'm going to go ahead and play this video 
as I recorded it, I just wanted to add this commentary real quick because it was very, very important. It will help you as you listen to this recording. God bless you all. Hi, God bless everyone. So I want to say off the bat that if you hear any background noise, my children are finishing up a play from Sight and Sound Theater that they're watching as they're finishing up dinner. But I need to come record this video. So anyway, I want to get right into this. This is part three in a series of videos that I'm doing on various things that I saw in prophetic dreams concerning other dimensions. What are other dimensions and why am I doing this? I've already discussed that in parts one and two. I'll put those in the description box. So I'm not going to get into that. I'm going to get right into this video, you guys. So if you haven't seen part one and two, please watch that first. It really explains what do I mean by other dimensions? Why am I doing this? You know, God told me to do this. Why did he tell me to do this? And all of that. So you can see those and get a better understanding of that. So getting right into this. Another thing that I've seen in prophetic dreams is how Yahweh is viewed as a father and as a spiritual husband to the church. And I have to say this, you guys, because I have seen so many reports to myself in the comment sections in the past and on other people's videos that believe that the Lord is going to have some kind of sexual human mate, which is not true. I've seen multiple times the Lord has shown me how he wants us to view him as a father. I mean, you would think that's common sense. For the majority of people, they don't need me to say this, but there are still some people that kind of think the opposite. So yeah, the Lord wants us to view him as a father. He's Abba, Abba father. Okay. And moving on, I've also seen supernatural artifacts, just like in warehouse 13. I had multiple prophetic dreams of various dimensions, seeing all these different artifacts and I didn't understand it like, wow, what is all this like supernatural objects and stuff? And I believe it was the Lord that dropped in my spirit warehouse 13. And I was shocked because I saw that when I was in the world way, you know, many years ago. And I had forgotten about that show because I used to watch it like a joke. I didn't really think any of that stuff was real. And apparently it is because I've had multiple dreams like that, that there will be supernatural artifacts you guys it's really amazing and i've seen specifically that the 144,000 will have different supernatural artifacts that the kingdom of darkness will be trying to acquire from them and i saw this in another dimension dream and i actually saw that they were quite successful getting them from a lot of the 144,000 members so it was like this battle between the kingdom of darkness and the righteous. Another thing I've seen is a picturistic savanna. So I believe that it's hard to explain this. How can I say this? I'm gonna try to explain it as best as I can. And the word of God actually backs me up on this, but to really get into the Bible, that's a whole nother video to really go through the scriptures about this. But anyway, what I have literally seen is a lot of destruction on this world, pure chaos, a hot mess, the Antichrist risen. And at the same time, I've seen these savannas, these oases, like islands and things of this nature. But I've been shown that you cannot get to them unless you are righteous, holy, and you have to go through like a spiritual ram is the best way I can explain it. I don't know how to explain it other than that. It's like in the spiritual world, but at the same time is on the earth. It's hard for me to explain that. Like the garden of Eden is on the earth. I do believe, I do believe some of these things that God has shown me is the garden of Eden, but my prophetic dreams did not say that. So I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I was shown these places on the earth, but you can't see them because you have to be a supernatural spiritual being and you have to be righteous. I was literally shown that like the unrighteous could not get into these savannas, could not get into these oases. And I'm calling it that because that's what the dreams called it. 
and they couldn't get into these places because they was unrighteous. And there's actual scripture in the Bible that supports that multiple, multiple scriptures, you guys, multiple scriptures, which I'm not going to go over right now. But if you really study the end time scriptures in the Old Testament, you'll see that it talks about all this chaos and craziness going on the earth. But also it talks about Mount Zion and all this beauty and all the animals and harmony and you know, all these wonderful things on the earth is heaven on the earth, you guys. And that is what I have seen. I've seen beautiful giant whales that we can just swim with and animals in peace. I've seen all of that. I've seen so much beauty and it was on the earth. And I knew that it was on the earth. And it's the same time where so much craziness on the earth. But these places are only for the righteous. And there's scriptures, literal scriptures that support that. But like I said, for lack of time, I'm not going to get into that right now. I've also seen a different type of grass in which when it grew, it grew up then down. I don't know if we have grass like that on the earth. I can't think of anything like that. And I have been all over. I've been all through Canada, all over the United States. I've probably been to almost every 50 states. And what else have I been? I've been to islands, different islands. I don't remember ever seeing grass that grew the way that I've seen it grow. It's even hard for me to explain it. And I've also seen giant mushrooms and really, really tall trees. Now, I know we have tall trees, you guys, but these trees were trees in our world today that you would think that would normally be small, but they were giant trees. So I think the Lord is going to do something different, even with the grass, the trees, and you know, these mushrooms I saw based on what he showed me. Also, I've had several prophetic dreams where I saw sex slavery was legalized and it was rampant. And you may think that's crazy, but that's what I've seen. And I've seen it a multiple, multiple times, multiple times in various dreams, at least two dreams I can think of right now that I posted. I will put a playlist of different dreams I've had about other dimensions in the description box and it should be in there. Yeah, at least two I've posted. Also, I have had several prophetic dreams where I have seen an increase in rapists and rapes. It's something I didn't understand this back when I had the dreams because I didn't know about the abomination, the mark of the beast. But it was something in people that was activated. And when this thing was activated, some of them were not just zombified, but they were also raping people. It's crazy, but that's what I've seen. So I've had other dreams where I've seen them eating people and doing all kind of horrific things. But then I've seen other dreams where they were also raping people. And it was like animals. I don't even know if I should say animals, but it was something beastly, like a beastly way that they wanted to rape people. I didn't actually see the rapes. Thank, praise be to God. But I knew it was like a beastly animalistic rape that they wanted to do. Other things I've seen is regular houses. And I've talked about houses in another video. So I might repeat a little bit of what I've said before, but I want to talk about it here because I included some additional notes of things that I've seen. So I've seen regular houses, the size of mansions. And what I mean by that is what was considered a regular house was actually the size of a mansion to the world. It was just a regular house and it was half a block. It was like literally like half a block long and it was massive. What we would call is a huge mansion. And I also saw how regular mansions, like what they considered just regular mansions were castles. So the people who had regular houses, they was like half a block. And then the mansions were the size of castles. And let me just say this right now, because I have to repeat it. I said it in the last video, but what I have seen is that there will be different cultures and different things going on in different areas. And I know somebody may think, well, this must be heaven. You're describing heaven on the earth, but this was not actually heaven. This was just a different culture. And this is how it was in that culture. 
A typical house in our world is about 2,400 square feet. And that was considered a tiny house for the poor in this particular dream that I had. And it was made with aluminum siding or wood. Whereas the big houses were made of stone, not even brick. It was literally made of stone. And I also noticed how the blocks were a lot wider. And I've seen this a couple of times. I can think of a dream right now that I did not post because I thought it was personal. So I didn't post it. And I saw the same thing. The blocks were a lot wider as if it was fit for a giant or like giant animals or something, something big. Because it was really big streets and the blocks were really a lot wider. I've also seen in other dimensional dreams and one that my youngest daughter had where the earth was spinning faster and so the days were shorter. That is what I was shown. Like the earth was spinning faster and it made the days shorter and that's backed up in Revelations as well. It talks about the days being shorter. I've seen in multiple prophetic dreams that the great tribulation was just about to start. So I believe based on multiple things that I've seen that right after the shift change, the great tribulation will be just about to start from different things that I've seen. And I saw that the Antichrist was risen multiple times in multiple dreams. I saw that he was risen and the great tribulation was just about to start. I've seen additional or new family members. You may say, what do I mean by shift change? Please see some videos that I'll put in the description box about the shift change. Cause I explained that I have a couple of videos where I actually explain it biblically as well. So I'll put that in the description box for lack of time. I'm not going to go over it right now. So it appears that after the shift change, and I've seen this many, many times that people will have some different family members. They may have the same family that they have now, which I've been shown, but with additional family members. I've actually been shown that both of my daughters have been shown that, that I had a bigger family and some people's family may change altogether. I also saw in a prophetic dream, another dimension dream that there was these mark of the beast name tags. It was some kind of name tag. I also saw that in this other dimensional dream, how people were not allowed to have children unless they had the mark of the beast. And if people had children without accepting the mark of the beast, the children were murdered. They were literally like put on an electrocutional chair to murder them. Just like you would think of someone on death row. And I saw that it was Obama, the Antichrist. I've seen Obama as the Antichrist in multiple prophetic dreams of other dimensions as well. And I have also had a prophetic dream in another dimension where I saw that Trump was back in power somehow. And there were coins that had his image on them and it looked like George Washington. So that was interesting because he's a demon in human form. And that just made me think, and I don't know if I said that in that video, but that just makes me think that he was here before. Now, was he George Washington? I don't know. If you really study George Washington, that dude was one demonic guy. He was into a lot of different witchcraft. I mean, seriously, you can do the research. He believed in a lot of Indian type witchcraft. He was a very satanic man and he was a very evil man. If you study his journal about the different things that he did and said about the slaves and how he kept jerking them around saying, oh, I'm going to let you guys go free. He would let them fight in his wars and say he's going to let them go free. And then he wouldn't let them go free after many of them were injured and died and went through pure hell to try to win their freedom. And then later on, he did the same thing again. Lied to the slaves. I'm going to let y'all go free if y'all fight in my war. They fought in the war, jerked them around, threw them all right back in slavery. Even some of them was so badly injured, they were under medical care and he still threw them back into slavery. He was an extremely evil man. You know, was he Trump before? I don't know. And honestly, I think so based on what I've seen. And I've seen that another time. God help me, Jesus. It was George Washington again, but this time I was shown him when he was very young and his hair looked black. 
Now, I don't know if there's actual pictures of George Washington when he was young, because I don't remember ever seeing any in my life. But his hair was black. God showed me that he was a very evil man. I saw that again. So I've seen it twice now. And there was a connection with Trump. So I don't know if like, is that the same demon? <laughs> I don't know. But that's what I've seen. So he might have some kind of authority after the shift change in some kind of powerful way. I don't know, like a leader under the Antichrist. That part I don't know. Or was he a leader just stepping down to the Antichrist came? I don't know. I really don't know all of that. I did have another dream about Trump. And I saw that he died some kind of way. And people were really sad that he died. And they were making the Lord very angry because he's a demon in human form. I cannot stress that enough. What do I mean by demons in human form? Especially anybody new to my channel. I'll put a video about that in the description box. I would love to explain everything you guys, but I don't have time. This video is going to be long enough as it is. So I can't go over everything because I get people like that. You need to explain everything. This video will probably be two hours long. I can't do that. I've already explained it in other videos, so you have to see that, please. Okay, so moving on. I had a prophetic dream, and I did not post this dream because I felt it was personal, but I was shown point blank that after the shift change, that the 144,000 will be tested with their superpowers. So let me, and I'm not going to go over the whole dream because to me, the dream was personal, but I just want to get to the gist of what I think is important to say. So anyway, I was shown in that dream that right now, the 144,000 and what are the 144,000? <laughs> I'll put a videos about that in the description box so you can see what I mean by that. On this channel, I talk about a lot of high level things, you guys. And if you don't see the videos from the past, you won't be able to keep up with what I'm talking about. So I'll put that in the description box because I'm not going to go over it all. And I don't hold back anymore. I used to hold back a lot of stuff. But I don't do that anymore. So this is a very high level type conversations. I do Bible studies about these various things. I've done one about the 144,000. I'll put it in the description box. You can see that. So anyway, moving on. I was shown how the 144,000 are on the earth today. The Bible says they are redeemed from the earth. They are on the earth. And I was shown how they were tested without powers like the dream literally said that like they was tested without their superpowers and it was showing their different grades and things like that and then the dream said that we're going to get our superpowers and then we're going to be tested with that personally it was showing like my rank and things of this nature and Jesus was in that dream and showing the rank of other different types of people and then it was like, OK, now you're going to be tested with your superpowers. And in that dream, I said that we have to be led by God's name, God's will and God's word. And specifically, we cannot be led by our own emotions, by what we want to do. Well, 144,000 follow the lamb wheresoever he goes. That means they follow God. They do what God tells them to do, not their own emotions. I could sit here and make video after video on, on my own emotions. We can be here all day and night talking about my emotions and what I feel and talking about headlines and everything like that to keep up with what the man wants because that's what you're doing when you do things like that. But if God didn't call us to discuss something, we shouldn't discuss it. If God didn't call us to discuss it, you don't say anything. We follow the lamb wheresoever he goes. So I was literally saying in that dream, we have to follow the Lord by his name, his word, and his will. Okay, not our will be done, but his will be done. So moving on. I've also seen new exotic foods that we don't have. And the names of the foods that we have now were attached to new types of food. Like for instance, what we call ham. After the shift, it could be something totally different, like a totally different food. That is what I've seen. I've also had many prophetic dreams where I saw that the leaders were called kings instead of being called presidents. You guys that follow end time prophecy in the Old Testament, 
even in Revelation, you see this type of terminology. You see kings mentioned a lot, kings, princes, things of this nature. And I had another prophetic dream because I've had people who think that the kings under God's hierarchy are all male. And that's not true. I actually was shown that. But I did have a prophetic dream where God literally showed me how the kings under his hierarchy can be male or female. And the same thing applies to princes. It can be male or female, meaning princesses and princes under God's hierarchy. I've been shown that multiple times. The Bible says in Genesis 5, I believe it's Genesis 5, 1 and 2. It talks about how God, when he made Adam and Eve, he called their name Adam, which means man. So God is showing you even in scripture that there is a female and there is a man, but they was both called man. God calls us mankind. God does not say mankind and womankind. So there's this male terminology. And I've gotten out a lot of, with people who think all angels are males because they see the terminology in terms of males, but I know for a fact that's not true as well. So it doesn't just apply to mankind and kings and princes, but it also applies to the angels. I've seen angels that are female and male, and I've also seen young angels. But in these prophetic dreams that I'm talking about right now, I've seen how the wicked leaders were no longer called presidents. They were called kings. I've had prophetic dreams where I have seen that some of our enemies would never do the things that they did to harm us. And some of them will be nice after the shift change. And I've had other dreams like this as well. Where I've seen enemies who have done horrible things to people and after the shift change, they had never did those things. And I've even seen dreams where some of our enemies were saved after the shift change. And let me say this too, because I touched on this in another video. I don't think these are the same people. From things that I have seen prophetically, I believe that these people will look like, like this man looked like my ex-husband, but he was most likely really from another dimension and that was put into this dimension. I can say that because that is what I've been shown, that people will be shifted around from other dimensions. So they may look just like people who have harmed us and you may look at them like, oh, this person did these horrible things to me. And then you find out they're nice. They're a Christian. What? <laughs> because they came from another dimension. And then I've had other dreams where I've been shown that some evil people were evil in other dimensions as well. So that was interesting. But thinking about these dreams right now, it doesn't mean that everybody is a Christian in every dimension or evil in every dimension. And I had a couple of comments of people saying, how are we connected to other parts of us and other dimensions? Like, are we connected or not? I cannot really answer that 100%, but I can say this. There is some type of connection. And that connection, the way I've been shown it is... When I see myself in other dimensions, I cannot let myself see me that I know something negative would happen. The Lord then revealed to me what that is, but I knew to avoid myself from seeing me. And then also I have had a couple of dimensional dreams where I would see myself and as long as the person didn't see me like my spirit, I could walk right into them and I could understand what they were thinking even in dimensions of time like I had another prophetic dream where myself the me today was in the future I was in New Jerusalem and I saw myself I was with the Lord and I was looking at myself and at New Jerusalem and I'll put that video in the description box and all of a sudden I was inside of myself and I could tell everything that I was feeling what I was doing and things of this nature so it's some type of connection now. That's all I know. Are we really like all the way connected to ourselves and other dimensions? I really don't know. I don't know that enough to say point blank yes or no, but it's something there. I saw in another dimension that there was this society of people that were really poor and they were surrounded by crime after a devastating catastrophe struck the area. The majority of people there acted like savages 
and it reminded me of one of those movies that take place after a worldwide event that killed most people and the majority of the people left looked and acted like savages and I also saw that the upper middle class in that prophetic dream like in this area they were considered upper middle class but we in our world today would consider them poor and they lived in very tiny apartments but at least they didn't live outside like the other people lived outside i've also seen in other dimensional dreams how some people were living in whole new continents i've seen that many times like a person could be living in america then after the shift, they live in Paris. I'm saying Paris because I've actually seen Paris. Or they could be living in Canada. Or they could be living in Israel. You know, different things like that. I have had multiple prophetic dreams where I have seen myself working for Yahweh in various countries by traveling through portals into other locations on the earth. So I've seen that many, many times. Like there was these different portals and the 144,000 had access to these portals. And these portals are on the earth today is what I have seen prophetically. That we have multiple portals on this earth right now today. Of course, we as Christians cannot access them because we're not spiritual beings. But people who do witchcraft, and this is what I have seen prophetically. They do witchcraft and they can go through these different portals on the earth into other dimensions. They can go into other locations on the earth. They can go into spiritual places on the earth that demons, witches and warlocks can get to that we can't access as Christians. So I know that for a fact, even beyond prophetic dreams. I know that for a fact there are portals on this earth. I'm telling you right now. I've never, of course, experienced going through any of them because we don't have that ability as Christians. No one has that ability to my knowledge unless God gave it to somebody. But witches and warlocks, they go through these portals. I have done spiritual battles with a witch that came through a portal to my house. So, yeah, I've experienced this firsthand. And in the Bible, they're considered things like ley lines and silver cords. So you may say, oh, what's a ley line? What's a silver cord? And it's in the Bible. I did a video about that, actually. I will put that video in the description box if I can hunt it down because I did that video years and years ago. But I have a whole playlist of videos that expose witchcraft. And it's in that playlist. But I'll put that in the description box if I can find it. I've also seen a couple of prophetic dreams where there was some kind of connection with total eclipses and supermoons. Like, how can I explain this? There was this supermoon event in one dream I'm thinking of right now, and it denoted a rise of the Antichrist coming. And that already took place. It was a spiritual rise of the Antichrist, not a physical one. And that's a whole nother conversation. Like, what do I mean by that? There are two types of manifestations. There are physical manifestations and there are spiritual manifestations. And even when you read the word of God, you have to read it with both eyes. There's physical explanations of things. And then there's also spiritual explanations of things. And so the Antichrist has not risen physically, but spiritually. I was shown and my daughter, we both had the same dream the same type of dream, the same night, I'll put those in the description box, where we were shown that the Antichrist spirit is on the earth today. And it came about, it was a super moon event, and it came about. And that is here right now today. It's the same type of things that I talked about recently with my trickster demon video, when I exposed this demon going around acting like he's the Lord and fooling people and giving them all these really profound supernatural experiences. That's really the devil. I cannot stress that enough. I cannot stress that enough. I, I feel tears in my eyes. I'm trying not to get too emotional because I'm really pray to God that this is home. I cannot stress this enough. Any spirit, any spirit that is telling a person that is nothing wrong with their sin it don't take all that making them comfortable in their sin and any spirit that goes against the word of God goes against the word of God. It's not God. 
And if you don't know the word of God, you could be in a lot of trouble because you really have to know the word of God very well, because this demon, I'm telling you, he's very conniving, very tricky. The Lord has allowed me to see several things about this demon. And he will try to challenge people to doubt everything the Lord has taught them over years and years and years through his word. Basic Christianity even. Just simple basic truths of the gospel. And he's a demon. And he can come in a form looking like Jesus Christ. I actually saw in a prophetic dream. And I've talked about that in that dream. The other dream that I had that I said I'll put in the description box. That he can come in the form of a lion. He can come in the form of different things to do with Jesus Christ. And just think, what kind of forms can Jesus come in? He can come in the form of a lion. Jesus can be, you know, he's the Lamb of God. He's Jesus. Look like a man. I can't think right now of other ones. But yeah, this Antichrist demon spirit that rose, he can do the same thing. And he can also, the Lord showed me how he can give off an aura of peace and tranquility and niceness. But he will bring a different gospel. He will bring a different gospel. Whereas the person is either lukewarm or they believe in something completely different from the truth of God's word. And he's a sexual demon. So he will usually go into the aspects of something sexual, such as having sex with angels, which is demonic. That's how the Nephilim were created. I mean, seriously, to some people that's listening to this right now is like, duh, Shauna, everybody knows that, right? No, they don't. No, they don't. Because I've heard it. I heard a guy release a video, this is a God in heaven truth on YouTube. Claiming that it was a prophetic dream from the Lord where he was in heaven having sex with an angel. I was like mortified. Like, dude, that is so satanic. That's how the Nephilim were created. So sick stuff like that, you know, just simple things that as Christians, basic Christianity should tell you that you don't have sex with angels. Okay, and it better tell you, you don't have sex with God. Amen. The devil is a liar in Jesus name. You know, just basic Christianity truths. This demon will go against. And his spirit is on the earth today. And he is a conniver and he can do great signs and wonders, y'all. Woo. Ha <laughs> ha. I have experienced it. The Lord allowed me to see many things. He can give dreams. He can give visions, powerful visions, dreams. He can give, you know, all kind of things that people think they're hearing from God. But it's a different gospel. It's a different gospel. It goes against God's word. So you have to be extremely, extremely careful. Like when I talk about the shift change, when I talk about other dimensions, I can back that up in the word of God. And I've done that and I've released those videos. Amen. And I'll put them in the description box. But if what a person is believing cannot be backed up in the word of God without twisting the word of God, because he can do that too. God help us, Jesus. And a lot of times, you know, you're dealing with that demon because you're afraid, you're ashamed to say things that that demon is telling you because you know that it's wrong and you know that it's not going to be accepted. Okay. And I can say that from somebody that I talked to that was under the influence of that demon. And this person would not come forth and say the things that this demon was telling them because they knew that it was shameful and it was horrible. I can't stress this enough. You guys, I really want to warn you because I'm telling you for a fact that demon is on the earth today and he is getting a lot worse. He is getting a lot worse and he is making people think it's okay to sin. It's okay to masturbate. It's okay to watch porn. It's okay to, you know, be a pedophile and things of this nature. He's sick. He's sick. And basic Christianity truths just go right out the window. So I can't stress that enough. And I have had 
prophetic dreams showing me a connection with total eclipse as well, like different events happening. And some of these are even tied to supernatural abilities from the Lord. For some reason, I've seen that, that something with eclipse was even tied to God given and super moons, even to God, Yahweh, given supernatural abilities to his saints. So someone may be wondering, should we watch the super moons? Should we watch for the total eclipse? I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't watch for it. And that's a great question. <laughs> I never look into that stuff unless someone tells me, they'll tell you, Oh, Shauna, we have a super moon tonight, or I'll be out and I'll see a giant moon or something. And I'm going to look it up and say, Oh, it's a super moon and eclipse and things like that. I don't watch for that stuff, but I will be honest and say that if you do watch for that stuff, it's a time to pray and fast and pray if you can, but definitely to seek the Lord instead of worrying about being outside, trying to see an eclipse or being outside, trying to see a super moon, because I've been shown two ways that it's also a time. Definitely. I've been shown this multiple times for witches and warlocks to do witchcraft against the body of Christ. So you want to pray against witchcraft. That's definitely a time for that. So if you're going to follow eclipse and super moons and all this kind of stuff, Follow it to pray against witchcraft. Definitely to pray, to seek the Lord. Yeah, if I followed it, I would be following it for that reason. I've seen in other dimensions how some people were going to be rich overnight, but there was a warning to not be flashy with the wealth because it would alert the kingdom of darkness. And I've seen the kingdom of darkness in the form of the men in black. That's not just a Will Smith movie. They were showing the truth in these movies. But the men in black also includes women. I've done videos about that in the past as well. If I can find them, I'll put them in the description box because it better explains what I'm talking about. I've seen different styles of hair after the shift change. So what I mean by that is... Like the way people did their hair was very different. Like in one dream that I had, I saw that there was these type of very expensive rollers that had hair on them. And the women would roll their hair with these rollers some kind of way. And they did that instead of wearing wigs. And it would make them look like they had long hair. So expect to see different styles of clothing, different styles of hair, things of that nature. I've also seen surprise visits by family members from the ones that will remember us. I've seen that in other dimensional dreams. So if you can remember the shift, don't be surprised if you get surprise family visits after the shift change. Okay, so I am going to leave this video here because it's already long enough. I did not finish everything, praise God, but this is part three. I'm just going to leave it here right now. I love you all. And like I said, if it's something that's confusing or anything like that, please see the videos that I will put in the description box because I do more of a detailed explanation in those videos. God bless you all.